Thanks for joining me as I paint a horse with alcohol ink. This is done on graphics paper. I believe I'm using a opaque white for this one. So this is my process um, and I even included a mistake um, in here that I um, that you'll see how I do a fix with this type of painting. Um, so, uh, just stick with me and that'll show up in a little bit. Um, you can find me, uh, on Facebook or Instagram with Tracy Ellis Artistry. And my work is for sale. If you'd like to let me know you're interested, please message me on one of those two. So my process what I do is I start off with a sketch um, and then I fill in my background colors. So um, I lay down ink, you know, t uh, the dots of ink and let them dry um, for a little while, maybe mm, 30 seconds or so. And then I flood the paper with uh, blending solution. I make my own, but whichever blending solution that you use is fine. The inks that I use are Ranger inks and Pinata. And um, so once I get those dots down, I flood the paper and I move it down around a little bit. I don't want them to get overly muddy or um, not so saturated. So uh, I try to keep that to a minimum if I can. After I do the sketch, um, I let that fully dry and then I do everything else here in this painting is with a brush. I generally don't use pens. I'm kind of terrible with them. Um, but if I need a, a, a white highlight somewhere, I might drop that in, but I, I didn't do that on this one. Um, I also use a palette with my colors in there. Um, I do a lot of mixing of colors, so I, I would be happy to tell you what I'm using, but they're all blended with other colors. So I can't really be accurate with that. So the, the way to get uh, painting with a brush and alcohol ink is to watch the viscosity of your paint. Um, I have it uh, again, it's dried on a palette and I just dip my brush um, into blending solution and I dab it off um, to where it's it's barely enough to pick up the color, um, you know, move it around and, and do that. So I, um, when I apply to the paper, there's not blooms. That is one of the biggest issues you get when you're trying to work with detail is those blooms so um you know just being super careful not to have your paintbrush drippy with either your ink or your solution i uh, start off by blocking in my darks and lights just to give myself an idea i go through a ugly phase with it um Just trying to keep this relatively loose. I don't know if you see down by the hoof on the left side of this painting, there is some dots. Um, in my in my uh, reference photo, there's the palette. In my reference photo, um, there was dust coming off of that foot, and I had um, just while everything was wet, I dropped a couple of like just a little splash of blending solution there um, and it was nice because it faded out. It wasn't overly um, showing those drops, which I really didn't want to go for. Just an impression. In my other works, I've used other things like um, makeup sponges, uh, just 
um, Kleenex tissue, uh, lots of different types of things to get, um, you know, interesting backgrounds or texture happening in my paintings. I do always have that reference photo up. Um, I absolutely need to be able to look at that. I just don't have that great of a memory of uh, <laughs> what those lots of different muscles are in the, in the front of the horse. So as far as um, different tones uh, of, of color, um, that also depends on the viscosity of your, uh, of your ink. So um, I swipe it across and I can get it a little bit um, lighter color. Um, if I want to add hi uh, highlights, I will just go straight up blending solution and just right there. Um, I can pull that ink up. Again, you can use other things like, um, uh, the, I don't know what they're called, but those pens um, that is just uh, uh, alcohol in it. Um, and those are good with getting things, uh, getting the color up, but I find I get a lot more control with brushes. And it has exactly the right amount of, um, of alcohol on it. The pens tend to be uh, dry or quickly or just not exactly what I'm looking for. But again, they have their uses. I'm full on addicted to doing horses. There's, um, I have other works that I have available if you're interested in. So here's the problem. I just hated that um, muzzle. I, I thought that it was um, not looking right to me, that I couldn't get the nostrils right. And so um, I went in with the blending solution again and just pulled up the color from there. Sometimes I can work through something like that, but this one was pretty well loaded with ink. So I figured I'd start fresh. You know, it looks terrifying. Um, and I'm trying to get right to the edge here so I don't have like a, an outline on it. But again, if, if you're using the brushes and um, you're not overly wetting your brush, then you should be able to blend it in pretty well. I do my work in a lot of layers. It is definitely hard. It, if you've worked in ink, you know that it is a, not a friendly medium. Um, so uh, I do layers um, to get the darks. They are harder to get onto the paper. I prefer a darker muzzle in the horses. So my artistic license, I went with that rather than what was on my photo.
I did end up doing some final little touches off camera. So when this is through, it looks a little bit different, adding a little bit more um, shadow. But I think that you get a good idea of what I'm going for here. If you have questions, um, I can pop them into the, uh, the comments below, or you could message me about this. generally do use just one or two brushes when I'm working um, clean as I go but uh, it's generally um, a warm tones and cool tones the two brushes and then that's it um, cleaning them in between it's interesting I actually found that the packing cardboard when I when I send my work out to people that packing cardboard is amazing for um, cleaning the brush I, I dip it in lens in my solution and then I just swirl it onto that cardboard and it pulls up the um, the ink off of there so nicely so it's kind of a happy accident there adding a few low lights it's a couple of details And at the end, I start to add um, some Follow color. Follow me on Facebook and or Instagram as Tracy Ellis tones and um, muted. So I, I like to add a little pop of color here and there. And um, I want to thank you very much to make for, it visually interesting. Um, for watching. If you have questions, just leave them down below. And I will uh, try to get those answered as quickly as possible. And there we have it. That was the final product. Thank you for watching.